Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to the uh, first annual Houston Outlaw Comedy Special. I hope you're here to see the show. Not just waiting for traffic to die down before you finish that trek to the suburbs. <laughs> Houston comics have learned to love Houston. We learned to love it because we travel all over the country. We've been to places like Oklahoma. You learn to appreciate Houston after you've been <laughs> to Oklahoma. You learn to appreciate things you normally take for granted like electricity and uh, indoor plumbing, the English language, toothbrushes, a lot of stuff that we're going to take for granted here. But in Oklahoma, hey, it's a big deal. I moved at the Houston House Apartments on the top floor, smack dab in the middle of Houston, Texas. Yeah. Houston, a city of six million people, 12 million cars, and 27 valid driver's license. Uh, it's an action town, and I'm glad to be a part of it, because I have been up in Oklahoma, festering in the bowels of the heartland, trying to entertain people who suffer from inbreeding and high-carbohydrate diets. Trying to entertain people whose entire wardrobe consists of Charlie Daniels concert t-shirts. Uh, people who think the Marlboro Man is effeminate. <laughs> and women that make him look that way. So uh, I'm glad to be back here. Uh, I was up in Tulsa, Oklahoma, the home of Oral Roberts. Familiar with Oral? Yeah. Very impressive man. TV Guide on Sunday said, Oral Roberts heals the deaf. Show closed captioned. <laughs> Not a lot of confidence here, Oral. Uh, so I'm glad to be back. Be careful going home. You do know the cops here have a quota. We've all had a run-in with those fine HPD. I got a ticket last week in uh, River Oaks for driving a 1980 car. <laughs> I'll pay it, but I'm mad. Man. Yeah, they're all over the place. See signs by the freeway that say speed limit enforced by unmarked vehicles. It's pretty scary, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, I'm speeding in an unmarked vehicle. <laughs> How do they know it's me? Come on. <laughs> yeah. See signs in Texas by the road that say dirt for sale. <laughs> this is the land of opportunity, folks. <laughs> when you can sell the elements, boy, you are a cooking jack. <laughs> dirt for sale. What a concept. Would like to get inside that guy's mind and look around just for an hour, boy? <laughs> guy sees opportunity everywhere. I don't know where to begin. I'm going to sell dirt. Why didn't he open up an air dealership? I have no idea. Saw his ad in the news, too. Thinking of starting your own planet? Well, come on down to Land Land. I checked it out. You don't let a guy selling dirt slip by. Want to hear this guy's patter, boy. He was great. I don't want to pressure you now, but we got a family of worms looking at this. They were here first. Where are we going to get dirt, honey? Well, we had Father's Day a couple of Sundays ago. That was good. My mom called me up every day to remind me to call my dad. Every day. Please call your father's son. It'll mean so much to him. Please do that. Wish him a happy Father's Day. It'll mean so much. Don't forget to call your daddy. Please do that for me. So I called up Sunday, got my dad, said, Dad, happy Father's Day. He goes, thanks, son. Here's your mother. Had a rather hostile childhood. Uh, a lot of tension in our family. Kids would come up to me, my dad can beat up your dad. I'd go, when? <laughs> yeah. He cut salon on Saturdays. Boy, that's perfect right there. Get him while he's wearing that Bermuda jumpsuit in public. Where do they get Bermuda jumpsuits? I think they send away to Oklahoma for this stuff. It looks like a psychedelic farmer. No biggie. Hey, Dad. Good move. Dad got me a Chevette for my uh, 18th birthday. He thinks it's a great car. I know. Otherwise, I drive this thing. Uh, amazing car, the Chevette. Push the lighter in. The battery light comes on. <laughs> Hope I'm not straining you here. I hit a moth last week. Did $400 damage in this thing. Should have known it was a piece of junk when I bought it. The odometer has two digits. <laughs> Comes that big 10-mile mark. <laughs> the folks are great. Thank you very much. 